We are being joined by James Jackson, who's a journalist and also a political analyst, and he's joining us live from Berlin. Now, Mr. Jackson, we've all heard what Eugenie Prigozhin has said, and we also saw that pretty disturbing video where he was seen standing amidst cops, as one assumes that these are dead Wagner soldiers who were fighting in Bakhmut. Now, the Wagner chief says that the reason why the Wagner mercenaries are dying and dying so quickly on the battlefields of Ukraine is because the Russians defense minister Sergei Shogu and the top staff are not supplying them with adequate ammunition to fight in Ukraine. What do you make of this? I think what we're seeing here is a divide within Russia's military. Now, this is, divide's been there for a long time, but I think that um, Prigozhin is trying to use this and trying to reach out and make them, because he also described the Wagner Group as the heroes of Russia, standing in Russia's defense. So the Wagner Group is quite an interesting company. Um, they claim to be a private military company, but a lot of experts doubt that they are actually mercenaries in the traditional sense, and rather that they possibly add plausible deniability for Russia's operations overseas, particularly in Africa, but also in the invasion of eastern Ukraine from 2014. That was when they first came to light. So there's, um, as in many states, in particular more corrupt states and dictatorial autocratic ones like Russia, there's a divide between ruling elites uh, who are competing for the president's attention and resources. And in this case, we see that although um, Prigozhin claims not to have been given enough ammunition, I think he's probably right there. They, they, the Wagner group haven't been given very much ammunition. And it is clear that they are recruiting people from prisons, volunteers from prisons, as well as other places, just for very small amounts of money and sending them out in waves and waves to die. Now, that is partly a strategy of attrition from the Wagner group themselves, because it was very easy for them to get these um, troops, as I said, many of them from literally from prisons where they've uh, been told they can become free, they can get their freedom if they fight to defend Russia. Um, and then they just send them out in human waves. So it could be 10 to right. 1. Uh, and they get shot and destroyed by U Ukrainians. But other reports say that actually Ukraine is running out of ammunition, particularly for artillery, Absolutely. and that the Russian Absolutely. artillery is doing quite well in the region. So it could be that the traditional Russian forces are being given the artillery by Shoigu and Gerasimov, uh, whereas the Wagner troops are just being used as sort of human ca uh, cannon fodder, effectively. And uh, Prigozhin is going out and complaining about that, making his complaints public again. Whether they will actually um, retreat from Bakhmut is something that we should doubt. This, I think, is about the internal game in the Kremlin, about getting people to back him and to stop losing so many troops, because it is clear that Wagner troops are dying at, an, at an attack, a, like a, a crazy rate of attrition. Absolutely indeed. Now, also the fact that you know the Wagner chief has lashed out against the defense minister, Sergei Shagu, and also the chief of staff there, Jirasimov. Uh, you know, these are men appointed directly by Vladimir Putin. So, in a sense, is, is, is the Wagner chief now disagreeing with the strategy that Vladimir Putin has employed for the Ukraine war? I think that's a great question. Um, I think in this case, he's not stand, he's never criticized Putin and he never would. What he's saying, but you could understand this video message as a message to Putin directly. And he's saying, my forces get it done, but my forces are dying. You should trust me and not Shoigu and Gerasimov. And there's been a long running rivalry between them. You see that in many kinds of dictatorial regimes with elites competing against each other. But of course, if, they, if they're intelligent and they know how Kre the Kremlin operates, they would never come out and criticize Putin. So he's really making an appeal to Putin. I think you can understand this video as a direct appeal to Putin, as right. well as fans in Russia and a criticism of Shoigu. And there are questions of how much Putin trusts Shoigu. He would be a potential rival, leadership rival. So then he might want to overthrow him at some point down the line. Some people, have, Russia experts, have speculated. All right. Very interesting. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Jackson, for joining us and getting us all those details there. Thanks for having me. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.